Look, when I get into a Wikipedia article, I get into a Wikipedia article. So you basically missed uh, Scrappy's whole spiel about uh, liminal space. Okay, from oh. the top. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. Basically, the liminal space is a location that can kind of evoke a warped sense of nostalgia because it tends to um, play on like a mental form of Uncanny Valley. Mm -hmm. If a place that is usually supposed to be populated appears empty, then it's going to kind of trigger both nostalgia and unease. Mm. Yeah. So how is and your lunch? Like... <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I, I, I the, yeah, I. That was interesting. I've, I haven't, like, I'm pretty sure I've heard about liminal space before, but not in, not to oh, that, there it is. not to that like level of detail. Um. Okay, 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 I, I, I think about this a different way. Were you, like, thinking about about just jumping towards it? Yeah, like, and just hugging against the wall while you fall onto it. I was thinking of doing it like that, but then I just realized I could just get to the top. Hit the safer gets slower way. Yeah. But it's really, uh. <laughs> it's really funny in Kaizo. Uh, what they did at the level is they made it, they made it do the the B block thing, and it just switches gravity every t every time it switches. <laughs> beep beep, no, I hit a beep 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 beep. <laughs> yeah, like that would give me like crazy anxiety. Cause you always you have to make sure you like go into the the uh, the grates or whatever like perfectly every time. <laughs> or you just die. Pretty much. And like you can't, you it's like you can't f like. It, it better get you time uh, to think. <laughs> I mean, I haven't played it, but that's probably how I, how it would go if I if I did play it. Um. <laughs> yes. Oh, did I you die for I... anybody else? Oh. Wait, what? I was about to say I apologize if you hear. Cookie ASMR because I got I got the Mario Oreos finally. Oh nice. Wait, is a is something it, did something screw up? Is it, is it? Can you guys still sit, uh, still see the game? Yes. Is Jason good? What's going on? I'm confused. Can someone message? Jason in chat. I think he died. Hello? Hi? Oh, there he is. Oh, hi. Well, Where'd Scrappy you go? died. Oh. I was like, for some reason, for some reason, nothing was working. Oh. Oh, Scrappy is dead. <laughs> oh, no. Oops. Oh, okay, no, there, there he is. He is. No, no, I would have loved it came back. Scrappy is dead. Oh no, it is sad. He's so sarcastic. <laughs> I regret to inform you all that Scrappy has to. Oh, that's embarrassing. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm glad you understood that reference, Jason. Of course I understood that reference. Mm. I've seen the JoJo, but really, really fast, way too many times. Yep. Huh. <sighs> I got the feeling we're probably. I got. I get. I got the feeling we're probably gonna get to part six before Viva Ribiri does part six, but really, really fast. We'll see. <laughs> well, how far are you guys in JoJo? Um, part, part five? five. Yeah. Um. Last, well, epi we're... last, last episode, I, I remember know. they're gonna go on a train. We're going on a train. Oh, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're, yeah, we're going. We're going on a train. There also may or may not be a turtle. Whose ability? Who 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 who's, who has a standing ability that's basically just the TARDIS? No! Oh my I was god! Say we're gonna go to, we're, I was gonna say we're gonna go on. We're gonna go on a train to play backgammon. That too, yeah. Ah! <laughs> and you get no context for that either. Yeah. God. Yeah, well, I finally finished 
part three, part one. <laughs> so you're just making it to Egypt. <laughs> yeah, we just made it to Egypt. Hell, yeah. you mentioned that. Well, Oh, there's definitely no more tarot cards, so they're already done. <laughs> oh, yeah. We've already made it to Egypt. Plus, we are, we're, we're pretty much out of tarot cards, so, we're, so we must be almost done. Definitely. Uh. <laughs> yeah, what are you saying, Scrappy? <laughs> I think I vaguely recall some fatigue watching Stardust Crusaders back in 2018. Mm. Um. <clears throat> Is it? Pardon? No, 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 don't worry. I, I, I was, I was about to say something, but I realized it doesn't matter. <laughs> doesn't matter now. What happens. Never stopped me before. So, all right, let's see. Uh, uh, you mentioned that there was like some it. weird, small kind of diorama, like, I guess, town oh. in a Mario sixty four stage. Oh, no, okay, I was talking about, you know how in a uh, wet dry world you I thought you were talking about death, I thought you were talking about death 13. <laughs> 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 okay, I think it's like, yeah, it's all the way... Probably hope it's, probably hope it's head wrong. Yep. Oh, it's up there. There okay. it is. Yeah, you need to... Well, how do you... Th this one is well, like, kind of, this one is kind of jank. Jank? Yeah. yeah. You, need, you need to go up in the gravity, don't you? Like, you need to kind of do that. Why don't you do like the home and ground pound? I guess so. That doesn't work on the I don't think it works on the stars. It doesn't really? I can try that. Yeah, you um, can try. That would make it a little easy, wouldn't it? That would make it a little easy, wouldn't it? Yeah. Uh what's it? Yeah, the uh what uh what dry world. Um yeah, you go through that like little tunnel section and you go to like this weird and it has like the weird eerie music and it's like a secluded town area and no I one is see, there yeah there's i just see that all i can yeah. remember is um gun mario 64 mod oh god what the hell was that <laughs> oh yeah oh yeah <laughs> where, where in the gun mario mod it's um uh it, it's basically just a creepy boss town yeah oh god oh god Okay, so it didn't work. It, <laughs> well, if it, if it if it does home in on it, it's not reliable. <laughs> well, it was worth a shot. I'm sorry, just the going off like fast, a rocket. I just how fast it went down. Yeah, that was zooming. Uh, what is it? Yeah, I, there's also the fact that like wet dry worlds like skybox is so weird. Like it's like some town like underwater or something. It's really creepy looking <laughs> so i don't know th there's this video that's just literally about the mary 64 skyboxes and like some of those things are just kind of scary <laughs> i mean have you seen like bowser in the sky yeah right i don't it's like here no i can't tell okay i'm gonna have to like look at this a bit more from a different angle, probably. Potter would rather do these or Crash Wars bonus rounds, and I don't think I could give an honest answer. <laughs> Crash, well, at least Crash Wars bonus rounds, you don't lose lives. That's true. Oh, yeah, oh um, to, to go back on your question on how far we are in part five, we are, um, we are on episode, episode fourteen. Ah. Out of, out of thirty-nine. Damn. Wait, part five is that that short? Yeah, part five's got thirty nine episodes. How long is part four? Alright, uh, part four. I think it was like, oh, it was also forty nine episodes. No, 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 no. Oh. For, I mean, thirty nine. It was also thirty nine episodes. Okay, so I think it was also thirty nine episodes. Part three. Okay, how long? Kill one, of these, kill one of these things first. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of these oh, guys. So part three. Yeah. Part three was forty eight episodes. Right. Maybe if you get closer along the thing, you can get an idea. Yeah, it's like a little it bit. It, it's like it's like a, just a little off. Yeah. Can you stand on the fence without falling off? Wait, what? Can you stand on the fence without falling off? I don't know. That looks very iffy. So it's like part one and part part one was nine episodes, oh, and then part hell? two. 
and in part two was <laughs> 17 episodes. Oh my god. Oh, almost. I it's, like, it's like, it's as soon as you miss it, you go straight into the death point, too. Yeah, that's the problem. So you, you, so you hardly have any time to react if you're trying to spin save yourself. Yeah, you kind of just get it or you don't. I mean, is it too high for a triple jump? I can try that. I highly doubt that's going to work. If it does, then that's going to be funny. Oh, okay. <laughs> Did Luigi just pop out and hit the thing? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my fucking head. I don't get paid enough for this. You get paid? No. He gets paid hey, he I do. Hey, I do, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. The launch shot's gonna mess with this. Yeah, you probably oh. get sucked into. Yeah, not even close. Yeah, so yeah, you have you have to do it from this from the upside down gravity. Uh, okay. Hey, there you go. <laughs> yeah, that, wow, that was the most yolo jump. I. The other yeah. and the stars have a general sh like equal. Is that the word? Equal hitbox, I guess. Like. Yeah. Because they always twirl, so imagine if like you missed it because it was like twirling on one side. Oh, that would have been that would be evil. Yeah, I don't think the hitbox ever changes when it, like, moves. I doubt it. I'd hope not. That would be kind of crap. There's... You can only make a game so realistic before it becomes a hindrance. Yeah. Still I mean, waiting for the crash... I mean, crash I mean, cause, like, if it's a true hitbox, I'm just like, have you ever played Monster Hunter? <laughs> I was gonna say, uh, like, uh, Crash Free uh, NST, like, Jet Ski. Like, that's like realism that like just yeah. ruins it. Sometimes hitting a monster in Monster Hunter can be just a pain in the ass because like your weapon, like their like all their hitboxes, all of their hurtboxes are true to their models. Like so if you're really big and you and you're and you're like right under them. You're not you're, unless you're doing like a weird overhead swing. You're not you're not hitting them. Yeah. Oh, don't get me started on this one. One of the uh, event mat event fight hunt in um uh, in world right. Mm -hmm. Um, it's based off of the um, it's based off the movie right. Yeah. Where where um you have to hunt you well you have to just beat this humongous Rathalos. Hmm. And, and when I say humongous, I mean um like Big boy. like you don't like you. Oh God! How do I describe it? The 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 the, the daddy of all Raffalos says. Might as well be. Oh, it's no. like. Oh, wait, wait, what's the, what's what? Think of what's one of the biggest things you can think of. What in general? Or... Yeah. A whale lord. Sure, we'll go with that. Yeah. I I can't really think of anything that huge no, at the top no, of my head. No, it's bigger than a whale lord. <laughs> <laughs> Uh like it actually like it's humongous, oh. like I don't know, Dark uh, Gaia? <laughs> you know what, let me okay, Dark Gaia is probably bigger, but let me <laughs> come on. Isn't it like, I think it's like in the cloud. Everything's in the cloud nope. now, Harry. No, it's not. <laughs> Hooray for no checkpoints! Yeah. All right, I'm I'm looking at a bit you know, to find just, just just to give you an idea of how big this grapple is. Because <laughs> <laughs> I remember doing the hunt myself, and all my and almost all my swings kept missing. I guess like to like, with a game like Monster Monster Hunter, I guess like the realism can to an extent add to it, like the the feeling of like um like. Defeating the, like these well, that's part of the most, yeah, because I thought really just like cutting off the tail and all. Yeah, like, when you're doing something like cutting off the tail. <laughs> well, that and also uh, uh, like uh, realism and just the the way the mechanics work and like it's not as sim it's not necessarily going to be as simple as just attack the big thing enough until it dies. There's a bit more to it. <laughs> uh, video. 
Who is right. shooting that water out? Uh, uh, nice. Who cares? Uh, I care. Gotta love when there's invisible walls. So I just... Oh, my YouTube is like okay, the worst works. right now. Okay, I, I can... Okay, I... Is it like... There it is. Clever. Honey Queen is huge. Yeah. Alright. Alright, this'll do. Mm hmm. Alright, so for... For anybody who's not currently watching this, um, for how just how big we're talking for the Raffalo, uh, let me see, is it 4:30 or 4:40? Okay. At around 4:40 in this video, oh. you can get you an idea just how giant this Raffalo is. Is that, is that in the thumbnail? Yes. Oh, I see. No, that's actually just it's one of its toes. <laughs> well, like, look, how, like, look how big it is. God. That, that, that's, that's not that's not the Raffalos. That's his tongue. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> oh, this is the tongue, and the whole thing is the worm. It's like the thing in... <laughs> Run right. for your lives! <laughs> it, it's, it's like the, when they go in that, like... Cave, quote unquote, and Emperor strikes back, and it's like actually a monster. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the cave right, so and yeah, Empire strikes you... back qualifies a liminal space. <laughs> it all comes back to it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. Like, look at yeah, Like, take a look at just how big it is when the character when the character runs up to it. <laughs> I mean, you guys can guys can do that. I can't. I'm like. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You know what, Xavier, take a look. They're like 440 in the video because the Raffles is landing there at that point. Say, <laughs> hello, how's it going? Oh, <laughs> loud. You didn't hear that. <laughs> yeah, could you, yeah, could you mute that? <laughs> you said 440? Yeah, 440 or so. Watch, you'll see it land and then watch what happens when it, look how big it is when you actually run up to it. <laughs> oh, God. I wonder, actually, can I just fly? I doubt it. If only the balloons gave me yeah. extra right. I can do, yeah, right. I can just, well, I can just, just fly. Just, <laughs> just how big is it? Oh, wow, okay, yeah. Yeah, that is, that is big. That's a big dragon. <laughs> big. <laughs> big dragon. It, it is really big. Big funny day gone. <laughs> I don't know where I got that. I'm like, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, well, like what? It just looks like it just looks like any other Ratha. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Capcom! <laughs> <laughs> oh! 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 Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, that could have been worse, actually. I, that, it, it, if that if that sent me off the edge, I would have just laughed. <laughs> yeah, I, I was half expecting that. I half wanted it. <laughs> have you not suffered enough in this playthrough, Harry? Yeah. No. <laughs> I might want to bet it's uh, on the Queen Bee or somewhere. Oh, yeah, it's just right oh, there. Oh, there it is! <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's just, it's just on her crowd. Yeah. But yeah, Xavier saw just how big the Raffles is, is talking about. It's like, yep, that's pretty big. Oh! Damn it. It is huge. And, like, it is actually too big. <laughs> I thought that made too big for Smash. I was gonna, yeah, too. <laughs> put it in Smash. <laughs> nah. If I if I saw that many bugs swarming a queen bee, I would just run for the hills. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh god. Oh, here's here, here's here's an interesting topic. Harry, did you hear oh, yeah. that? Did you hear about the um uh, the, the 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 DLC for Shredder's Revenge and how they're putting Karai in the game? I saw that for like two seconds in my feed, but I didn't look into it. Yeah, like, but yeah, yeah, Karai is Karai is coming to the game. Is that yeah. like I assume are they are they like uh, using I, I don't I don't remember if Karai even 
like exists in the 87. She, she has it. She doesn't. So, so is it like the 03 design or is it made I, up? I think it's supposed to be the 03 design, but like uh. she does, she she was in tournament fighters. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah, I have told me about this. Yeah, it's like oh, this is like kind of the original. <laughs> that's pretty cool, actually. I I you'll be be nice. Like it's nice to like um. I've already. What was the game called again? <laughs> Shadow's Revenge. Shadow's Revenge, yeah. It, it's cool that, like, it's basically becoming, like... Yeah, Def, yeah, yeah. I couldn't move in time, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, it's nice that it's basically becoming a, uh, a, uh, just... What is it? A celebration for, ta like, TMNT in general. Yeah. Like, yeah, especially, especially, especially because of all of... They had to fucking frog. <laughs> okay. yeah, yeah. Especially because of all, like, all of the color, all, all of the color palette options being references to, uh, be being references to, like, other stuff past 80s turtles. Oh. I know that, like, I thought I could change. I know, because 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 I I think um, I remember. I think I saw that in like some gameplay. I could be wrong. Well, at the very least, we know that the DLC is coming out on August thirtieth. Hmm. Wonder how much it's gonna be. Hope. Yeah, I know. I mean, I'll buy it. Yeah. I'd like to buy it, but I gotta hold on to my money. Yeah. It would be interesting if they do like a collection for the 2003 like games. <laughs> I don't yeah, think the one I remember like they own 2003 Turtles. <laughs> yeah. I mean, to be fair, they did release like a full box out of the series like not too long ago. Cause yeah, cause like, cause yeah, I'm pretty sure that they they own the IP, so they have the right, so they should have the rights to everything related to Ninja Turtles. Yeah, yeah, they, like. I don't know. It yeah, because, yeah. and I mean, and I mean, like, and I mean, like, because I, I, I definitely, I definitely do know that in um, uh, I think like uh, for the first couple of Nickelodeon Kart Racers games, they used the 2012 Ninja Turtles designs. Mm. I just want to see the O3 Turtles like cross over with some of the other guys. Yeah, I would love to like to see that. Like. Like, if we got, like, a Turtles Forever 2 with, like, all the four, all four cartoon iterations of the Turtles, that would be amazing. Yeah. I don't know if it'll ever happen, but, you know. It's something to, th it's definitely something to think about. Yeah. What's that? Write a fan fiction, Scrappy? Okay. <laughs> like, my, my, my idea of it was just, like... It, it, like just have it, it have the have them in like uh, four groups where like each each of the four groups have like one of each like uh like turtle what one of each like turtle from like each incarnation each incarnation so like right rise Donny twenty twelve Mikey eighties Raph with like. 2003 Leo, or, or something, just something like that. That would be an interesting dynamic. Yeah. Oh, there it is. <laughs> well, that was not too hard. Yeah, I was just like, it's like, is it just here? <laughs> uh, I mean, some of these, like, <laughs> I, I, I guess the green stars are interesting because some of them are just. Like you, you're just supposed to like, f like find the the difficult difficulty is just knowing where they are, and then other, and some of the others are just you know where it is. It's just hard to get to it. Yeah. I right, still, so I um, and I, I guess speaking of turtles, I've seen. Pretty much all the movies at this point. I just need. I just need to see Mutant Mayhem now. Oh, I think you'll like Mutant Mayhem because so. I I enjoyed it. Hmm. 
I wasn't really sure how how to feel about the about the bay turtles. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> uh, my, yeah, Michael so, Bay Turtles just exists. Yeah, I had some fun with the with the second movie, but like I, I don't know, I didn't love it. Hmm. Yeah, the the first movie was just whatever. I I, 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 still remember, I still remember when like what one episode of twenty twelve digital shows that kinda of made a jab at Michael Bay Turtles where Mikey says, At least we're not stupid aliens <laughs> I remember the one where it's like, I really did meet Megan Fox on that rooftop, yo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he he actually says this at one point. <laughs> I, I did not mean to do that. That was weird. Well you survived. Like, yeah, it's not her. Well, uh, uh, oh, nice it. Uh, yeah. Have you seen? Uh, okay. I assume Xavier and Jason, like you've seen the some of the Turtles movies. Have you seen any of them, Scrappy? I'll take your silence as a yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's like God. So anyways, yeah, I use the drill. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I start blasting. Start blasting. <laughs> Hearing that cut out predictably, I'm presuming you asked about the bait. The Michael Bay directed Ninja Turtles films. I've seen oh. parts of the 2014 one and all of Out of Out of the Shadows. Okay, uh, okay. I was, no, I was. That is part of why I asked. But I was, I, I asked um, if you've seen any of the Turtles movies. Yeah, yeah, I've seen most of them. Hmm. I feel like. I feel like my favorite might actually be the the um, Secret of the Ooze. It's definitely between the yeah. first. It's definitely between like the original mo uh, movie and the second one. Mm. You like Vanilla Ice that much, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I haven't. I haven't seen the third live action one. It's not great. Yeah, I. I heard. I heard it was not very good. I don't. I didn't dislike it as much as I thought I would, but it, a lot of it is just kind of nothing. Mm. Like honestly, the. The the um 2003 and 20, 2012 cartoons just do that general p plot line a lot better. <laughs> uh, the answers. Do, 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 do. Uh, out of the ones you you guys have seen, what have your what are your uh, not counting mutant mayhem? Uh, what are your favorite? Ah, uh, yeah, favorite? not counting uh, not counting mutant mayhem. Um, I'd probably have to rewatch them again. I'd probably have to rewatch them again at some point, but I definitely. I, I would also say Secret of the Ooze is one of my favorites. Okay. 2007. Really? That's your favorite? Yep. Huh, alright. I think that's probably okay. my favorite that's probably my favorite visually. Nice. Oh, right. you made it look did easy. you run it backwards, or did I miss? Did yeah, I right. <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah, you want backwards. Yeah, when, yeah, yeah, because like you keep the you just keep the momentum. You know, I, I, I enjoy it. I remember enjoying like 2007 a fair bit. I just wish there was more like backstory to some of, some of its story elements. Yeah, I definitely have to rewatch the 2007 one as well. Yeah. The broad stroke sequel to the 90s trilogy, they probably should have kept some of the actors. Yeah. I actually like James Arnold Taylor as Leonardo. <laughs> yeah, I had, I had nothing like I I thought I thought the uh, the voices were like pretty solid all around. I think Sarah Michelle Gellar was uh, April on that, if I remember correctly. Yeah, she I was. Um, I haven't really like watched a like a Turtles in incarnation incarnation where like I thought the voice acting was like bad or didn't suit. The, the characters. Uh, the, obviously, I haven't seen Next Mutation. Well, I I haven't really seen Next Mutation outside of like 
like five minutes of one episode. So, <laughs> like, you know, I, 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 I probably. Mean, the four Tony's voices I, are fine in that show. Like, I was like, because, like, I, because, like, was, was Next Mutation actually good? No. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, that's gonna say, yeah, like, ne Next Mutation is widely considered, like, the worst, uh, thing the Turtles has ever done. <laughs> I mean, there's probably been worse things the Turtles have like, done, but... I mean, individually, like... Didn't, it, didn't, like, didn't, the, the, didn't it also, like, you, sorry, like, didn't yeah. it also introduce Venus to Milo? I think so. That's where she comes from, yes. Like, there, there's probably, like, um, some... Oh, hey. Uh individual things that are like worse but like i thought you got it at an angle i would too if you tried yeah that was complete dumb luck i'll be honest uh like what is it uh i don't, I, I guess in terms of like a, a big like long form pro uh, project like like it's consider it's usually considered like the worst thing i don't know like I, I don't know what else. There's probably some other stuff, but like I can't think of anything else that would be like on par with that. <laughs> Request: When we're done with um, Bow when we're done with Bowser here, should we stop? Uh, I guess I, I guess we can. Hey, right, what happened to your sleep schedule? <laughs> uh, I mean, we're gonna be training next session. Well. Got like, got like three worlds after this, and then Grandmaster. I thought you were gonna say Grandma for a moment. <laughs> Does World S have green stars too? Yes. Oh boy. Well, at least it won't be that bad. Mm. I'm a chuckster. I'm a chuckster. Well, well, I'm assuming it's only like one per, right? In that case. Uh, no, it, it's a green. You have uh, one green star for every regular star, so. So, yeah. well, there's all, well, well, yeah. Every no. regular star, so that, but that also includes the comet, right? Yeah, like, when I say regular star, I mean just the yellow stars. Alright, so then there's two in each of the uh, world S's. Yeah. And the, and the last one is, and the last one is technically, um, uh, <gasps> yeah. yeah, back. What the heck? Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, I think I remember how this works. I think you need to get the cloud and then like get the get it uh, get the green star like that. Uh, since we're in the sunshine level, I may as well say this before I forget. Um, like, think thinking about it, like I, no, I I. I, I I'll say this, I still, like, I really like the look of the Galaxy games, and I love, I've said it countless times how I love just the space, like, backdrops and all that, but I think, if I had to pick, I think I still prefer, like, Sunshine's art style, like, I, I think Sunshine, something about it just pops, and I think it's probably just my favorite, like, art style in a Mario game, uh, it's definitely my favorite world in the Mario game. I can say that much. Like, it it helps that every area is like connected. Um, this looks so funny. <laughs> yeah, I know. I don't want to use that up, but that's Stole fine. that lead from a low tad. Uh, I don't want to. I, I don't want to use this up. Can I still? Oh God, yeah, I'm gonna have to. Get the you need to get. You need to get. All, you need to use them all three. Yeah. Uh, what would you guys think, Mario art styles and stuff? Um. Uh, or like a game's, yeah, just a game's like just know. general feel. I haven't felt anything since 2019, Mary. Oh, I don't know. Let's check in with Squidward again. Squidward. Squidward. <laughs> just what? remember. Ooh. <laughs> I just really love Sunshine's world. I don't, I don't know. Right, there we go. 
There we go. I mean, I do like I I I, I, I do I, I do like the idea of like you know everything feeling feeling interconnected. Yeah, that is really cool. Uh, like the GameCube Mario games did that like like quite often. Yeah, they did uh, quite that, a lot. Yeah, I, yeah, double dash definitely did that. Where like all the course where all the courses felt like interconnected. Like in yeah, like on Peach Beach, you could you could see Daisy Cru you could actually see the Daisy Cruiser in the background on Peach Beach. Yeah, and I think. I think below Rainbow Road is Mushroom City. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> at the very, yeah, like, at, at the very least, at the very least, Mar Mario Kart 8, Mario Kart 8 does kind of continue that trend, because like um, with like in like um su in Sunshine Airport, all of the destinations being other courses that you can race on, yeah. and it also it also applies for um Super Bell Speedway as well as like the city map in the su in the subway station itself is a is, is a map of the city that's at the bottom of N64 Rainbow Road. Yeah, it's more subtle in 8 though, like, you don't see yeah. the, you don't see, like, another level from, like, another, like, so, like, some, like, another place, but it's like, I don't know, I guess it's cool that it's, like, there in any capacity, but I do, I do prefer actually seeing the levels, like, from the, from a distance. Yeah. That's, I guess that's also a reason why I want Isle Delfino in like an Odyssey kind of game because like imagine being able to go from like like Rico Harbor to uh, Pinner Park like seamlessly like that. That would be so cool. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, I just like the scale of like just being able to see things like. Well, yeah, yeah. The, the, sc the scale is nice, but I, I just, I just like, I just like it because it makes it feel like an actual breathing world, and it, it feels less like you're going through stage one, stage two, stage three kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, uh, Pik Pik Pikmin Pikmin Four definitely does that with its with its areas. Hmm. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, Pikmin 4 does what fits with some of its areas because, like, some there are because some of the early, in some of the early state, some of the early worlds in the game, you actually can see that that you can actually see the house that you eventually go to later in the game. That's cool. Because yeah, you can see you can see the outside of the house, in, in like in, in in some in some in some stages. Not all of not all of them, but especially especially when in especially when in relation to where they are, com in relation to where the house is on. When, when you cool. see the arrows on the map. Hmm. Yeah, no, I just... Stuff like that is just really cool. I guess, like, in other games as well, it, like, can just show you the uh, sense of progression as well. Like, you see some... I don't know, you see, like, something off the, in the distance, and, like, several hours later, late, later in game time, like, you're you reach that section and it's just I don't know I just like the sense of progression with that hmm. yeah. easy now gravity can be a little bit weird huh hmm. oh, hey. well, I hope we have things to talk about next time because I'm like Running on fumes. Hey, hey, hey! Listen, we're we, we're doing we're doing. I'm surprised we're doing this well. Yeah. We're each sessions later. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's like. Oh, this wasn't look that hard. Yeah, I, I would I would appreciate it if it just stayed, if the if it just stayed in a 2D plane, because <laughs> like this that would make this a lot easier to line up. And I just okay, that wasn't so bad. I was gonna say that looked really easy. <laughs> I wasn't sure if I had to like wall, wall jump or something. Even if you did it, another game would be that terrible. Yeah, I'd be a little bit worried about like the like, the three D weirdness though. Alright. Well, I'll have to I'll have to instead of levels done. Do this because I'm probably gonna forget. Next time it's Marrow Tin. Alright. I'm assuming you want to do um, uh, the, the perfect run with Mario. 
I don't know. We'll worry about that when we when we get to work. Uh, yeah. So next time, more funny green stars. Hopefully, you have stuff to talk about because yeah. I have nothing. <laughs> maybe but... the, maybe maybe it's a, maybe it's a better idea that we stop now. <laughs> yeah. See you guys next time. Hopefully, we're not dead <laughs> in the next session. Bye bye. Okay. Bye bye.